Greetings and salutations, friends. My name is Ariana, and today I am going to turn myself into the pretentious film student I've secretly been all along. So the reason I say this is because one day I saw this picture on Pinterest that said the film kid and it had all these quirky cute attributes for what the film kid is like and I figured you know what why not become that film kid and it all started when I posted that picture on my Instagram and my friend Jerry saw it and one thing he saw on the list was a French press so he bought it for me for Christmas and I have no idea how to use it. So I figured today I would learn how to make coffee with the French press and become a pretentious film student. But first I need to become that character in every sense of the character, not just the French press. So, boom. Technically it has had a gray cardigan. I don't own a gray cardigan. So I got a little orange one. So, okay, number one, check. Number two, quirky prop. Um, it shows a clock, like a cute little clock. I don't have anything like that, but I figured this is pretty quirky. At least it was for a while. I think it still is. So I figured this would be good. Okay, next thing is a DVD set of the movie Breathless. However, I don't own Breathless on DVD, but I thought what's the next best thing that screams film thought? A Criterion Collection DVD set of the Before Trilogy. No regrets. This is fantastic. I don't even care. The next thing is a poster of the movie Pulp Fiction. I will never be caught dead owning that. So I got a poster of a movie that I actually like. Thelma Louise, one of the greatest movies of all time. The last thing on the list was a DSLR. I don't own that. I film on like a Panasonic little camcorder, but I do have this bulky VHS video camera. So. I figured we'll just set that up in the background and it's the same thing, right? All right, so we got all our supplies and we got the French press. Now that we are fully in character, let's make some French press coffee. Okay, so today I'm gonna to be using the Beka French press. So we're just gonna sit that down there. When I was researching how to make French press coffee, it's a very particular type of method and I'm a little scared, <laughs> but it's fine. So basically, typically you're supposed to use coffee beans and then grind them yourself, and that's not, that's not happening. I don't own a coffee grinder, so, but if you do use already ground coffee, it's supposed to be coarse. So I have the Javalia, Gavalia Cafe Special Reserve Single Origin Source Costa Rica Coarse Ground Coffee. So we got the French press, we got the coffee, let's start. Okay, so step one is you have to boil some water. So I got a pot. And we're gonna do that. Dope. Okay, so since that takes a while to boil, I figured I would answer some questions related to movies in order to pass the time. So I went online and I found this thing called the 50 movie tab questions. That's pretty old, but I figured why not? Okay, so the first question is, how often do you watch a movie? I would say I watch a movie at least one to two a week. Since we've been in quarantine, I've been trying to prioritize reading more, at least towards the beginning of quarantine. Now that it's kind of becoming the new norm, I've been watching whatever movie I want. So I would say now it's become like two to three a week, but yeah, nothing crazy. The next question is, what movie genre are you particularly fond of? I would say I'm a big fan of light dramas with light humor, basically movies that are thought-provoking, but not extremely depressing. Not that I won't watch them, but on a daily basis, I'm in the mood to watch something that I feel is going to be interesting and intelligent, but is still light enough to enjoy at any given moment, not like I have to put myself in a certain headspace to accept information that could possibly hurt me, you know? So, yeah. Next, what was the last movie you watched and liked? I had to watch this movie called A Face in the Crowd for screenwriting class, and I really loved it. But since I had to like stream that on a website, I can recommend a movie that is actually on a streaming platform. The last movie I saw and liked would have to be The Year of Spectacular Men. That was directed by Leah Thompson and her kids, Zoe Dutch, Dutch, I think is how you say her name, and her sister are in it, and her sister wrote it and stars in it as the protagonist. And I didn't really like it at first, and then it really grew on me. And it's a little corny in some parts, but I really enjoyed it, and it's on Hulu. So. That was the last movie I watched and really liked.
So I read that after the water comes to a boil, you don't want to immediately use it. You want to let it sit for about 30 seconds to a minute before putting it in your French press. Okay, so now you're going to scoop your ground coffee into the bottom of the French press. For one serving, you do a cup of water and two tablespoons of coffee. So let's do that. I would prefer to have stronger coffee than too much water. So we're gonna put a bit more coffee and take it easy on the water. That. So it tells you after you scoop the ground. Let's put a little bit more. So it said first, you don't just want to dump all the water in. You want to put about a third in and then mix it. So we're gonna do that. Is this the best way to do it? Probably not. So I think that's about a third. I don't know. And now it says too. Let sit for 30 seconds and then stir gently. Okay, Google, set a timer for 30 seconds. We just, we'd be waiting though. Okay, Google, stop. Okay, 30 seconds have passed, and now we're going to mix it gently. Ooh. So now that that's done, we're going to pour the rest of the water in, but we're gonna be careful with it because we don't wanna put a whole lot. So, all right, let's start with there and if anything, you can put more in. So the next step is you're going to cover it up like this and you're gonna let that sit for four minutes. So I figured while I wait for that to do its thing, I would answer a couple more of the questions. The first question is, what was the last movie you watched and hated? The last movie I watched and hated, I'd have to say, is Flower. I wouldn't say I hated it, I just didn't really like where the story ended up going in the third act, and the idea of the story and who wrote the story left a poor taste in my mouth. And if you watch the movie, I guess that's sort of like a pun. Um, really gross one. But yeah, I watched it on Hulu if you're interested in watching it, but I wasn't pleased with it. I didn't really like it. The next question is, your favorite guilty pleasure movie. My favorite guilty pleasure movie would have to be silly rom-coms, like He's Just Not That Into You. That's like a movie my mom and I watch all the time. Another one would have to be any Adam Sandler movie, especially Just Go With It. Just Go With It, listen, you can't judge me. I love that movie. It was on TV for like three years straight all the time. That and Miss Congeniality were always on TV, so those are my guilty pleasures. All right, so the timer just went off. So now, the next step is you're gonna slowly push the plunger down. How do I fucking film this cinematically? Damn, I hope I did that right. All right, so the French press coffee is technically done. I figured the best way to serve it for this video was in my screenwriting mug that my film teacher gave me. It's really cute. It's a little woman typing. It's actually not in proper screenwriting format, but that's okay. All right, so now we're gonna pour some out. Oh my God, I can smell it. I can smell it. So I'm gonna try it first. Not to hype it up, but it smells super good, but it's okay. It actually tastes good. It tastes bitter, but in the normal sense that coffee tastes bitter before you put milk and sugar in it. So we're gonna put milk and sugar in it and see what happens. Do people put creamer in French press coffee? I didn't do enough research. Okay, so now it's telling me you could put milk in the actual plunger, but that's, we're past that. We have to keep going. So I'm gonna just put some creamer in it. And if that's taboo, let me know, because I don't know what I'm doing. Ooh, that's really hot. <laughs> almost burned myself. Okay, so we put some creamer in. Now we're gonna try it. Here we go. Test number two. I don't know. It still tastes... I don't know. I think that's just the taste of French press coffee. It's supposed to taste fresher and a bit more bitter, I guess is the word. What I really know because I have nothing to compare it to? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I don't know what this is supposed to be, what French press coffee tastes like, but hey, for a first go, I was expecting it to be extremely, extremely awful. Do you want some ASMR? I'm so sorry. <laughs> so I figured while I enjoyed this coffee, 
I would answer the last two questions that I saved from the movie questions tab. So here we go. That's pretty good. I put some sugar in it. It's pretty good. Are you the type who watches a movie on its first day of showing? When it comes to either independent movies that I know need the money and I know need the support in its opening weekend, definitely. Or if it's a movie directed by a woman, especially like a franchise, so like the Charlie's Angels movies, I really wanted to see opening weekend. Um, Birds of Prey, I really wanted to see opening weekend. I think I did go to see both opening weekend. And Emma, I saw opening weekend. It might have been opening night. So when it comes to movies I know need the headline of, oh, it made so-and-so money and it's opening weekend, definitely. The next question is your favorite comic book movie. 100% V for Vendetta. Yes, it's a DC movie. It's one of the only ones that doesn't suck. Love that movie. I also really enjoyed Birds of Prey. And the last question that I will be answering is, do you read movie critic reviews before watching a film? If it's a movie that I feel like I don't really want to watch, yes. If it's a movie I feel like I do want to watch, I tend not to, so I can sort of form my own opinions and go in objectively. I also write, not reviews, but more so anecdotal essays in regards to film, and if you're interested in reading those, you can look on my website, awakeintheam.com. Plug. Now that I know how to make French press coffee, I can embody this meme I saw on Google about being a film major working at Starbucks. So that's exciting for me. So anyway, that was the video for today, trying to become a pretentious film student. How did I do? So if you found this video interesting, entertaining, funny, amusing, or just something that wasn't a complete waste of time, please give this a like and subscribe to my channel for more movie-related content. It tastes fine.